are watching hashtag nerd swag. Yo, 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 what's up, comic book reading universe? It is I, your friend the neighborhood, comic book reviewer Steven Savelli, and I am here today to bring to you my comic book haul for comics released on my birthday, January 13th, 2016. I have six comics to show up for you guys and two comics that came out already that I got late. So yeah, stick around to the end of the comic book haul and I will be going over my most anticipated comic book of the week and my cover of the week. But right now, if you could, down below in the comments, let me know your most anticipated title and your favorite cover of the week. I have three comics from Image Comics. I have three comics from DC Comics, and I have two comics from Marvel. I will be giving away a digital code for Secret Wars issue number nine. I know that it'd be weird to get a secret code for, or a digital code for an event, but if you want to read the last issue because you want to know how it ends, so you can start reading other Marvel comic books, all you gotta do is comment down below your favorite Marvel superhero and in the next week, I will randomly select a winner and shoot you a free digital code. I'll, I'll call them out on the channel so people will know that someone actually won. Let's get right into this. The first issue I picked up this week is The Walking Dead, issue number 150. This is a big deal. Um, it's kind of amazing that The Walking Dead is all the way up to issue number 150. Still a great run. The comic is still going extremely strongly, and um, the writing hasn't faltered from Robert Kirkman. Um, I don't even want to flip this open and show a page, because I don't want to be spoiled at all. I've, I've stayed away from, from what will happen on this issue, but do know that I am very excited for this. And uh, issue number 150, Just it's The Walking Dead, so I'm stoked. Next, the second issue that I picked up this week is Descender, issue number 9. This is written by Jeff Lemire with art by Dustin Nguyen. Continues to be one of my absolute favorite comics from Image Comics. Um, the art on it is pretty superb. It looks like it's all real um, water paint. Um, I'd have to double check if that's what it actually is. But I um, really like Descender, issue number 9. It's going strongly in a direction that I love and enjoy and uh, I'm excited to continue this this epic journey um, that is Descender. Another comic I am absolutely loving from Image Comics is Injection. This is issue number six. This is cover B. Um, this is the crew, if you don't know, that did Moon Knight for Marvel a couple years ago. Um, and I'm just loving Injection. It's uh, it's definitely a mature book, and it's about some pretty crazy ideas. Uh, but it's one that I would highly recommend. And uh, other than that, it's kind of hard, um, not to spoil, but pick up the first trade of it and uh, let me know what you think. Or maybe I will do a full review if you guys would like me to on the first um, story arc. Yeah. The next book I picked up, I am so excited to read, and that is Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Crossover by DC Comics and IDW. This is issue number two. Issue number one was, was well, quite fun. You have Batman and the Ninja Turtles. Look, there's a page with them fighting. That's Batman and Leonardo fighting in a real comic book that's out in 2016. Um, very excited to read Batman and TMNT issue number two. This is just a fun comic. I'm not going to tell you that the writing is great or, or anything, but it's good. It's serviceable. And the art is pretty cool. I mean, it is what it is. This is written by James Tinian. The Foth. All right. Next up, uh, very... <laughs> this has been, after long, long delay, is Secret Wars issue number nine of nine. What? This is on a six-month delay? A three-month delay? I don't know. Secret Wars has been going on for almost a year. I wore my... Dr. Doom shirt in celebration of the end of the story arc. I've heard it's fantastic. IGN gave it a 10 out of 10. They don't do that very often. This has been, I'm telling you, absolutely my favorite story arc that I've read since I really started reading comics again back in 2012. Definitely into Secret Wars. Excited for this ending. Thick issue. I'm not going to open this up either. The art from Asad Ribic. Asad Ribic's my favorite artist in comic books. That's just hands down. So, great writing by Jonathan Hickman. Great art by Asad Ribic. And remember, to get a free digital code, just comment down below your favorite Marvel uh, superhero. And in the next week, I'll pick someone at random. Now that I think of it, 
Any of you that are watching this um, that want to do a Secret Wars review recap with me, I think that'd be awesome. Comment down below. I'll set up a Google Hangout and uh, we'll go over the Secret Wars story arc. That might be pretty cool. Yeah, this is actually the end of this section of the comic book haul. The next issue I picked up is The Mighty Thor, issue number three, written by Jason Aaron, art by Russell Dodderman. This is always one of the prettiest books on the shelves. Um, and I've continued to love The Mighty Thor, the um, Thor got a Thunder story arc from um, Mr. Jason Aaron has continued to be quite amazing and uh, will always be one of my favorites of all time, but look at this art. Just great by Russell Dodderman. Fun stuff. Um, the Mighty Thor, Lady Thor, has been uh, quite surprisingly great. Well, not surprisingly great. You know, it's my favorite. <laughs> it's hard to say my favorite. It's one of my favorite comics on the shelves right now, but uh, it continues to be strong. This issue is another success, and I'm looking forward to where this goes. Um, I've just been really, really loving um, this story arc. All right, the two old back issues that I just got that I haven't, <laughs> that I didn't buy. You guys are not going to believe this. I'm telling you, you're not. Uh, this is the Dark Knight 3, the Master Race, issue number one and issue number two. Um, I had not bought this book yet. Um, they're $5.99, um, and I was at the comic store. I was like, wow, they actually have them here? There was like 100 issues of each of these. I just, I don't know if it didn't sell. Or if they just bought so many because it was the Dark Knight. I read issue number one. And I just, I do like the art. It definitely is a throwback. Um, and I've just, re I've really enjoyed it. So that is the Dark Knight 3. I finally picked them up. I'm not a crazy person. Yeah. Now it's that time of comic book haul where I tell you my most anticipated title. And my cover of the week. And um, it might be a surprise, it might not. But I'm giving both. It's just my title and cover of the week to Secret Wars, issue number nine. It's hard to see here on the cam, but uh, we have Mr. Fantastic and Doctor Doom fighting here in the middle, and there's a bunch of outside pictures from different parts of the event. Um, but this this pic this cover really recasts what Secret Wars is about, and that is an epic closure or be new beginning, whatever I don't know, to the Fantastic Four series. So I got my Doctor Doom shirt uh, on for all of its glory while I read this issue, and I'm about to go do that uh, right now. Uh, so I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget, comment down below, most anticipated title cover of the week, and I will see you guys next time. Happy reading. Found it.